so what do we want from security analysis, right? We want to analyze security of, of protocols. Uh, 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 what, what is it, what would be a good, a good analytical framework for security of protocols? Uh, um, so what do you want? Uh, so, so definitely we want a way that we can faithfully represent uh, uh, attacks, realistic attacks that, sorry, whatever the, the attacker can do. Uh, the attackers, of course, it's not just one attacker, there are many types and forms of attacks. You want to be able to represent them all, right, to capture them. Um, and, uh, um, and, 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 and furthermore, we want to be able to, uh, uh, to represent the concerns that we have uh, uh, and the properties that we want to guarantee in the protocol. So you can actually ask, you know, what's the difference between security analysis and just plain uh, correctness analysis, right, in, in a distributed uh, uh, setting. And, and indeed, it's murky, right? It's not really clear there's a, there's, there's a clear line. And security is, in particular, correctness, but it's usually more, right? Uh, you want to, to uh, it's more for several reasons. Uh, first, you are concerned usually with more properties uh, than just, uh, uh, than just uh, uh, plain correctness of programs, such as Secrecy, privacy, that's usually a thing that's not usually captured within just plain correctness of programs. Um, uh, especially when, you know, you can say like uh, access control and you can say that this uh, piece of information is never goes out this domain. But if you try to do something more refined, more something which more realistic, like, uh, like secrecy in, in race networks, that's not something that's done in, in traditional uh, correctness analysis. And, uh, and the other thing is that uh, in, in, in security analysis, we really are trying to capture intentional attacks, right? It's uh, not just uh, plain faults and the failures of, of system networks, like intentional, uh, uh, directed, uh, uh, preconceived, intelligent attacks. So, uh, uh, so, so that's, uh, that's, that's, that's the main difference. Uh, so anyway, so, so we should be able, within this analytical framework that we're developing, to, uh, to actually uh, specify the security concerns uh, and the property that you want in a, in a rigorous way, right? in a precise and rigorous and, and also expressive way. So we should be able to say fine tune our requirements to what we really want and not to be overly strong and not to be too weak, right? So we should be able to do it and should be able to do it kind of in a, in a, in a natural, uh, uh, intuitive way, right? Um, so, uh, uh, so as I said, so we should be captured uh, all realistic all realistic attacks. Um, so so one thing to say about uh, um, uh, about uh, uh, about this uh, list of requirements on on, on what we want uh, is that we want it to be uh, we want it to be intuitive, and and in, in this sense, you know, so so definitions uh, in general cannot be wrong, right? The definitions they can only be surprising. And we don't want definitions to be surprising, right? So what to be natural? So that's something that you actually have to keep always in the back of our mind when you're writing a definition and try to, to specify things that uh, we have to be careful. It's a kind of issue of uh, uh, not very, not so much right or wrong, but uh, trying to kind of get it as expected, to, to be expected to correspond to reality. Um, okay. Um, so... Another thing that we would like to have, and that's specifically for, uh, uh, for, for security, is that uh, guarantees should, should remain meaningful in any setting or in many settings, right? So, so trying to get, if you manage to get a guarantee that's meaningful in one particular uh, very narrow setting, it's usually not good enough because we don't know the environment and specifically we talk about security, settings change and we want to, uh, 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 we want to, uh, to be able to guarantee security in, in different environments, in different settings. And, uh, and then another thing that is very important, it should be tec technically manageable, right? We should be able to actually prove things, specify things in a way that is technically easy, manageable, understandable uh, as much as we can, and that's important, right? Uh, both, uh, uh, they can talk about doing things uh, in an automated way, but that's kind of a high order. Uh, but even ma uh, uh, manually should be able to understand what we're doing. Um, so, and we th think about those things, those uh, tec uh, technically, technical ma manageability of, uh, and, the, and the idea and the requirement that should be meaningful in many settings, this immediately leads us to modularity, right? Because uh, this is exactly what modularity gives you. The, this ability to, to analyze things 
in small pieces and, and then uh, uh, be able to, to, to reduce security of the whole thing. Uh, this is the, te the technical manageability part. And then the, the meaningful security part uh, uh, comes from the fact that uh, you actually uh, uh, get, uh, um, because you're modular, you are going to be uh, uh, to guarantee security in many environments. It comes, kind of comes together. 